We're about to have so much fun, hopefully. <laughs> Hello, YouTube. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hopefully, you guys will stick around. I probably should have put a little bit of color on my lips before joining. <laughs> hey, so today what we're going to do is do a haul. I went to Hobby Lobby. I went to Joann's. I went to Dollar Tree and I have some Walmart stuff that I want to share with you guys. I found some great deals. If you love to craft and you love to shop for crafty goodies, can't wait to show you what I found today. So I usually um, film it on my YouTube channel of a haul, but I decided just to do it live, which is going to be fun. So I'm live on YouTube, live on TikTok, and I'm just going to... Um, bring everything up. Do you guys want to see a haul of all the great stuff I found today? I'm so excited to share it with you guys. I'm so excited. Okay. I got tons of bags to go through, so I want to keep it rolling for YouTube. Let's see. Hello, everyone. Can anybody say hi for me in the chat? I'd appreciate it. Mm, I'm parched, y'all. This medicine I'm on makes me so thirsty. How's everyone's day going? I've had a phenomenal day off. Even though it's so nasty outside, it's been absolutely amazing. I got to go shopping. And I, I wasn't actually out there looking for anything in particular. I just wanted to see what the craft stores had to offer. And I'll be dang if 4th of July isn't out already. Should I be decorating for 4th of July or is it too soon? Because to me, I thought it was too soon. I thought spring was supposed to have sprung. But it ain't sprung yet here. It is nasty outside. Can anybody on TikTok say hello? I'd really appreciate it. How is everyone's day? Is everyone having a great day? I hope so. All right. So let's dive in to show you all the goodies. What do we? What should we do first? Should we do... I know what we'll do first. We'll do the bomb pop rings that I got in the mail. Um, I thought I brought her business card with me, but I didn't. So TikTok sucked me in, y'all. Totally sucked me in for the Bomb Pop reveal rings. Um, I think it's called Fizz Pop. I don't know, but they sucked me in. So I bought uh, an OG original, and I also bought a, a September collection. And I got to be honest with you, I wouldn't have chose these rings for myself by my on my own. I wouldn't have went out and bought them, that's for sure. Um, so I got a size 10, and this one is called... So they come in these little baggies. They each have a name. It was 20 bucks to visit. Not bad. Um, and I love jewelry. I absolutely adore jewelry. But this is called It's a Whole Mood. Okay. <clears throat> I got a size 10. And this is what she looks like, y'all. She's very shiny. She's very glistening. This was an OG, an OG ring. So that's what she looks like. Here you go, YouTube. That's what she looks like. So this is not a ring that I will wear. I It's cute. It's pretty. She's pretty. She's definitely pretty. But she's just not my style. Um, so I don't know what to do with her. I don't want her to sit in my jewelry box because I paid money for it. I don't know if I should give it away or if I should sell it on eBay. Because I had noticed that there's rings that these girls are sought after. And they want them so, so bad. And they can't get them, so they go and buy them on eBay, which I think is a great idea. I mean, for 15 bucks, why not if somebody really wants the ring? And then this one's called Off the Clock. And this was my September pick for my birthstone. She's also a size 10. And she's maybe something I would wear. She's pretty. She reminds me of Princess Diana for some reason. She's pretty. Okay, she's pretty, but I just don't, I don't know. It, I don't know. Like, if you see me coming, you'd be like, dang, that girl, I mean, what she got on? <laughs> I'm just not sure how I feel about it. And the camera really is bringing up the shine. I mean, they are shiny. They're beautiful jewelry. I was after a black onyx, and I was not blessed with the black onyx. I will say I tried again in, uh, another by another one with another uh, Fizz Pop Party consultant, and I didn't get the rings I wanted from her either. So I might wait until I get them all together, 
and then maybe do a giveaway or eBay. I don't know. I just don't want them sitting in my jewelry box because I know if they're not in my jewelry box or if they're sitting in my jewelry box, I know they'll just take up space and they won't be worn and I spent money on them. So you guys, I'm looking at myself in the camera. I'm like, I look like crap. Why'd I do this? I probably should have touched up my makeup a little bit, but who cares? We're here for the crafty goodness, right? Okay. Anybody want to say hello yet? I would love it if you say hi. It would just bring so much joy to my heart. Um, okay, what should we do first? Should we do Dollar Tree? Yes, let's do Dollar Tree. I only got a few items from the Dollar Tree. This is definitely new to Dollar Tree. This is a happy birthday stamp set. Love it. I love, love, love the different fonts. I love everything about it. So pretty, such a steal. Hi, Yvette. How are you today? Thank you for commenting. You mean the world to me. <laughs> so I picked up this stamp set, uh, this happy birthday stamp set, and I picked up another one of these guys. I feel like this size box is really hard to find. Um, so just these two items at the Dollar Tree because I just ran in there real quick for something. I forget. Oh, for... Um, Strips to hang in the son's birthday or in the bedroom in the birthday. I say birthday because he got a new bed for his birthday and he kind of redid his room. So Walmart, you guys, Easter stuff at Walmart, if you can still find it, it literally is 75% off. Such a good steal. So I got lots and lots of uh, paper shred in this beautiful purple. Girl, it was 30 cents. I will take it for here now for Easter or for Easter for next year and for happy mail or shipping my uh, giveaway packages. So I got one, two, three of the purple. And then y'all, they had this gorgeous bright yellow for 30 cents. I was like, girl, yes. Okay. You can put that in my bag. Yes. So I'm going to store those away for Easter next year or for my happy mail. I love a good steal and a good deal. Wait till y'all see the rest of the haul because I got some really good deals. Also at Walmart on Easter clearance, these were these are um, garland and it was originally $5.98. But I mean, the crafter in me says I could do so much with this, honestly, so much with it. And I think it was maybe a dollar. And I loved them when they were full price. So why not put them and bring them, put them in my cart and bring them home with me. I got two of them. They're gorgeous as a garland, but if I go ahead and cut them up, look at that sweet little burlap bow. Isn't that adorable? If I cut them up, they're perfect for the tiered tray. They're perfect for a shelf setter. They're just mm, wow, great find, right? Love it, love it. And then also from Walmart, I'm loving this new line that they have. Um, my crafty girls out there know this for sure. Uh, so these brushes right here are going to be really nice and big and a good brush to put base color down on projects. And they were $1.98. They're a wooden handle. They are synthetic and it says best for base coat and I'm here for it. So $1.98, what a great deal. They, this line at Walmart right now has some really good brushes, and I'm loving everything about it. I bring it home, put it in the craft room. It's perfect. Okay, and then I also picked up another one of the night skies. I used it for a project the other day and fell in love with it. Bright Side, yes, yes. Is that the name of the brand? Oh, it's Hello Hobby, but yeah. <laughs> and then we also have Maisie, which is a beautiful yellow. And I don't feel like I had a yellow in my stash, so I needed it for sure. I mean, hello. The crafter in me needs all those colors, but the banker in me <laughs> was like, no, mm -mm. not the banker, but you know what I mean, the bank account. I'm going to take my smartwatch off. It's driving me nuts. Okay, also from Walmart, y'all, look at this beautifulness. Isn't she gorgeous? She was $12.97. I think I maybe paid 2 or $3 for it. Um, this is so beautiful. So beautiful. I don't know that I will keep it the way it is or if I'll redo it and turn it into something else. I don't know. Not sure. Absolutely loving this find. It's huge, y'all. It's so, so big. 
it's a great find, especially for the price. That's hard. I mean, even Hobby Lobby, when they put their decor on clearance, you can't find a good piece like this for around 2 to $3. They usually still want 4 or so. Okay. And then, let's see. Is that it? Oh, no. Okay. These are also from Walmart. Very much so from Walmart. So, one of my nieces commissioned me to make her a spring slash summer wreath for her door um amazon was charging 150 dollars for this wreath y'all and i knew i could make it a lot more affordable for her but <clears throat> she wants peaches and blues in her color and it's been so hard to find peach and blue deco mesh and even ribbon so a lot of this stuff today i went hunting for it really but um a lot of this stuff today is hopefully going to help but I found these at Walmart. These ones were clearance down. I think they were 97 cents. And there's some daisies and cute little blue stems here. Um, I thought those went really well. But these, you guys, these <laughs> are so pretty. Uh, oh, my goodness. They got peonies and the blue with it. And I thought, okay, I'm seeing the peach and blue vibes from what she's wanting. Do we, do you guys think it goes well together? Does it scream summer? Does it scream spring? Um, I figured if I end up making the wreath, I could accent with the flowers. And I believe this bushel was originally like $3.98. And I believe it was on clearance for maybe $2.50. Um, yes, Yvette, very pretty combo. It, I just, I don't know. The peach and the blue together, it just makes my heart sing. It definitely makes my heart sing. Okay, so putting these guys back. Where should we go next? Hmm. Let's go Joann's because I, um, let me see, what's in here? Oh, oh, I forgot to tell you more from the Dollar Tree, guys. Oh, gosh, I'm sorry. Do you guys know that Dollar Tree has chalk paint? Did you guys see that Dollar Tree had chalk paint? Okay. Okay. That wasn't it. I didn't think that was it from the Dollar Tree. No. Dollar Tree has chalk paint, y'all. Can you believe it? And they got the colors we want. They sure do. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm so excited to try this. I cannot wait to see how it turns out. I picked up this, um, it says chalk finish paint and it's by Crafter Square, y'all. Can you believe it? Look at this gorgeous teal color. And I mean, so this is a dollar 67, which is our beloved Waverly. And this is a dollar 25. Okay. So obviously they're different yellows as well, but I mean, it's a little bit more affordable, right? It's about the same size. Um, I will let you know how it is, Yvette, I promise. So there's yellow, there's this teal color. I think, if I'm not mistaken, I picked up almost all the colors they had so far at my Dollar Tree. There's a black. And y'all, we always pick up the um, chalk paint from Dollar Tree for the black. So I'm excited to see how this one actually performs. So I have teal, pink, yellow, and black. And Dollar Tree has chalk paint. <laughs> loving it, loving it, loving it. <laughs> Love everything about it. And I will let you know how it turns out, Yvette, I promise. My YouTube girls definitely know, I'll let you know. And then I love this to hang up stuff in my house. So that's another thing from Dollar Tree. Okay, let's go with Joann's because I didn't really, I don't feel like I bought a whole lot from Joann's. I really don't, but we'll see. Okay, let me take another drink, y'all. Oh, why does everybody want to do, um, share my live on TikTok? Can anybody let me know what that is about? Honestly, I don't understand why they want to share my live. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. All right, so what did we spend at Joann's? We spent $41. I feel like $40 was about the theme for today. Um, their spring florals were still on sale for 40% off. Y'all know, my YouTube knows that I fell in love with that ribbon. Y'all just wait and see. Um, that ribbon is definitely these bluish colors. So I thought that these would be great to have more in my stash. 
I also thought that these were really fun. Super, super fun. Um, I grabbed them in a white and a pink. Aren't they pretty? They're so pretty. And I used these pink ones on my bunny that I did. And I'm out. I think I'm out. I got all my spring floral down here on the in a bucket. Easy to reach. So we'll go ahead and put these guys away <laughs> as I go. Um, I also found this really pretty bright yellow and this really pretty pinkish, I would say peachish color. I love that they had just like a little rose with it too. I love these stems. I think they're a lot of fun to work with. I think I picked up two of each. Yes, I did. So I picked up two of each with these guys. I probably should have picked up a, um, a creamish white one, but I didn't. Okay, so as you guys know, I fell in love with these ribbons when they came out around Easter time at Joann's, and I picked up almost every single color of the collection, but they are pretty pricey. So I went back today, and this ribbon, it was 50% off, so I had to stock up. So I picked up another one of the blue ones. I picked up a yellow, fat yellow one that I didn't have already. Super pretty. Love that. I picked up a fat crochet one. Why am I calling it fat? It's it's a thicker. <laughs> I don't know. Two and a half inch. I don't know why I'm calling her thick because she's just, ah, oh, tell me that ribbon is not gorgeous, y'all. So flipping pretty. I picked up that one. I picked up the two incher. Nope. One and a half inch. So there's a two inch and a one and a half inch. And this is just because this ribbon is so pretty and I just fell in love with it. Wide. Yep. There we go. It's wide. <laughs> she a chunky girl. Here's another chunky girl wide ribbon. I love the stretch. I just love how it curls. It has that frill to it. It's just so, so pretty. And this screams summer to me. These two colors together are just so gorgeous. Absolutely love them. So yeah, picked up another yellow one. Then they had this guy, and I thought this one was just super pretty. It has white stripes through it. Really, really pretty. For $250, not bad. Not bad for good quality ribbon, if you ask me. And then we also got some thinner ones. So these are our skinny girls. No, I'm not doing that to ribbon. This gorgeous crochet, y'all. Look at that gorgeous crochet. Ah, oh, such a beautiful trim. And this one was uh, $2.50, I would say, originally five bucks. And then I picked up a thinner blue one. Let me set these down. And it has this pretty little design on it. So cute. That one's cute to me. You know what I mean? That crochet is beautiful. And then I picked up a peachy colored one. And then this sage green. Um, you're going to have to go look now. Yes, yes. I am a sucker for ribbon. And today's haul, unfortunately, is lots of it. Because Hobby Lobby had their ribbon on clearance, y'all. I was like, okay, Hobby Lobby, y'all know what you're doing. Y'all know what you're doing. They want to get rid of that stuff. They put that orange sticker on it, regardless if it saves us money or not. If that thing has an orange sticker, it's got me sucked in. I don't know why. I do not know why. And then I found these adorable, and I mean adorable, little birdhouses at Joann's. These are so pretty. So look at this guy. Isn't he cute? So it was buy one, get one free. They are definitely different from the Dollar Tree. So they had some that were very similar. And they wanted $4.99 a piece for them. I'm like, okay, Dollar Tree's got this for $1.25. Which, you know, sometimes Dollar Tree stuff is more expensive than others. But anyways, um, so I was like, I want something different than the Dollar Tree. And I've really been liking decorating with birdhouses for spring and summer. And there's so many different projects you can do with them. So there's this guy. So pretty. Look at the flower. Isn't he cute? And then this one's just a little bit bigger. I didn't want to go too big because I want to be able to raise them up with like, um, a dowel rod or something. So super cute. Love them. But my favorite is this one here. Oh my goodness gracious. How stinking cute is he? Oh my goodness. Adorable. Love this little beehive one. He's so cool. 
I didn't realize how creative you could get with birdhouses. I really didn't. I was like, okay, there's some. They had one with a cat cut out, like a cat head cut out. I was like, okay, I'm a dog mama, but mm, this is cute. <laughs> all right, let me throw these back in here because after this live, I'm going to put all this stuff away and find a home for it. And as you can tell, I already got too much ribbon, if you guys can really see. All right, let's get this guy put away. And then, now let's go Hobby Lobby, okay? Hobby Lobby was a lot of fun. I had too much fun in there, y'all. Let me tell you what. So, they had a lot of stuff in the his and her section on clearance. So, I got these guys for only a dollar. And they are so cute and springy and will look great in little flower cust clusters on a card or any kind of little project with flowers. Love those. And then these can be pricey, y'all. So originally $8.99, and I gave $2.24 for them. And these are so farmhouse. These are great for projects. I'm telling you what, they are so good. So, so good. They're just like those pit berries on wires. Um, $2.24 piece on clearance at Hobby Lobby. And they had teal and orange. I'm not sure. Okay. Then, as also at Hobby Lobby on clearance, we got a big old bag here, guys. I found some poly mesh, which I guess I don't know the difference between poly and deco mesh. Um, your girl's just now trying to get into wreath making. So, I thought this was such a universal mesh let's just call it mesh okay <laughs> i thought it was so universal that it would go good in any season if i needed it um and it was only two dollars and 74 cents what awesome find i was so excited about that so excited to the point where i grabbed everyone they had because are you kidding me that is that right there is a gorgeous color for any base it goes with any color that you want to add to it, any season you want to add to it. So exciting. And then they had it in white, y'all. They had it in white. They had it in white. I almost went to my other Hobby Lobby. Y'all should have seen it. My toes just curled because <laughs> I got so excited. Don't ask me why. Okay. I'm just like, Arr! I'm so excited. This is weatherproof poly, soft poly mesh. $2.74 for white. Love that. Gives such a great texture to your wreath. Yes, I just got to find a way of how to do it properly because I am so new at this wreath, wreath making. Um, and to be honest with you, I never saw myself doing wreaths. However, A, it does so good on my channel. I don't know why people are so into wreath making. Um, and then B, you know, it's, after the it's done, it's beautiful. And you know that you did the work. It's it's such a payoff. It's a big payoff for all the time that you spend into it and money. I got to say, wreath making is more expensive than just DIYing, for sure. <laughs> you ruffle it. Oh, hold on. I ruffle it the same as I do mesh. Oh, it is different. It's different than deco mesh. Yvette. I would, I would have thought you would have treated it just like mesh. So you, okay, I'm going to have to do my homework and YouTube is where I go. So I found the three of the white. That's all they had left. To me, that's a good base on a wreath on a 16 inch, 16 inch wreath form. And then y'all, they had the mother load for clearance ribbon. And I'm going to show you what I got. Of course, I'm going to show you what I got. That's what we're here for. But I was really surprised, to be honest with you. Look at these guys. These are beautiful for the 4th of July. And I couldn't believe they already had them on sale. They were only $1.24. So that's what we pay at our Dollar Tree prices. I was really, really surprised by this. Um, no, you don't treat it like mesh. I evade. Oh, hold on. No, I do treat it like mesh. Okay, ruffle it the same way. Okay, good, 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 good. <laughs> I was going to say, I am not trying to learn a whole new thing. I really ain't. Okay, so look at these guys. Aren't these gorgeous? $1.24? Oh my goodness, just in time for the 4th of July. So I picked up two of those. I think they're so pretty. 
And then I thought this color would be perfect with that peach and blue that my niece wants in her wreath. And that's really what I was after, was looking for that peach and the blue. Um, so I picked up two of the two and a half inch. And then I also picked up two of the seven eighths. Um, so I'm thinking this might be the right kind of blue that she's after. At least what I was thinking in my head is this is the peach. So it's not quite pink. It's not quite like these colors together are really pretty. I don't know. Do we like them? This is kind of the, the colors that they had in the inspo picture. So I found this one for $1.99, but they only had one roll. So if I end up doing this wreath and I end up do, using these ribbons, I might be in trouble. But they had a bunch of different colors of this one too. And I think this one is really pretty. Super, super duper pretty. So I, I love that color. I love this color combo. I'm loving it. Why does everybody want to join my live? We're just doing ribbons here. No, thank you. What's the point? Oy vey. Okay. And then I also found it in the three eighths. We got a two and a half inch, a seven eighths, and a three eighths. And I just love the, the colors together. I thought they were so, so pretty. Looks like I picked up three of those because I was like, I'm sold on that tealish color for sure. <laughs> The white with combo is nice with it. Yeah, yeah, the white too. Yes, girl. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. That would be a pretty, pretty wreath. Yes, yes. I think the um, picture inspo that she sent me, I think I can pull it up because, y'all, believe it or not, I'm working with three different Samsungs right now. <laughs> I got TikTok on my S21. I got YouTube on my S23. And I just got a brand new S24 Ultra. I'm so in love with it, you guys. This phone is mwah. And I work at a phone store. It's the best. It's the best. Do not forget how amazing you are. Oh, thank you. That was so sweet. Well, let me show you guys the inspo, inspo picture that she sent me so that you guys know when I was after this stuff, what I was picturing in my head. Maybe. This phone's not quite set up yet. I'm almost there. Hold on. Not now. Okay. Miss Jayla. So this is, um, yes. This is the wreath that she's wanting me to recreate. So here you go, TikTok. 114 bucks. I can definitely make that a lot more affordable. So that's the inspo picture. So I'm hoping that these colors, it's been so hard to find the peach and teal. And I almost feel like that's a little bit more pinky now that I'm looking at it. I don't know, but it's been really hard to find those colors, y'all. I've even been looking online and cannot find like peach ribbons and peach mesh or so that's the white's definitely gonna have to be my base. And then I also found this guy. Oh, it definitely is gorgeous, darling. For $2.24. Are you kidding me? Look at that farmhouse rusticness. This is ah. Uh, luscious luscious i love it and then it wouldn't be an amanda video without my buffalo check they had their buffalo check on sale for a dollar 49 and it's wired i'm hoping it's a little bit better quality than the other ones that i have so i kind of like that this one's a little bit smaller pattern too i thought that was pretty and then all the yellow that I've been buying. I don't really have a whole lot of yellow ribbon. So I did some yellow polka dots. I think it will be beautiful. Oh, you're so sweet. You guys are too good to me. You know that? Way too good to me. So we got that guy. And then I was like, okay, I'm going to pick this up and see what I can't do with it. Because it was a $2.50. Not bad. It is like a nautical rope. Um what are you? I want to say you're a nautical rope, like uh, the Dollar Tree nautical rope, but it's legit nautical. Well, it looks nautical to me. <laughs> but yeah, I thought that would be really pretty with all the blues and yellows of the Joann's ribbon that I could frame out a piece of wood with it or something like that. I thought it would be really pretty. 
Okay, you guys, that's pretty much everything that I spent my hard-earned money on. I'm just looking around to make sure. Okay, YouTube, we got to pick us another giveaway winner. Our giveaway winner didn't claim their prize, and it's still been a while. Hello, Chris. How are you today? Are you, Is everyone having a good day? I got to know. I got to know. Are you having a good day? I hope so. If anything, after watching my goofy butt, hopefully it got a little bit better, right? <laughs> so, yeah, you guys, if you're looking for a ribbon, go to Hobby Lobby. Go to Joanne's. This ribbon girl, ugh, you guys, I don't need any more ribbon in my life. I'm telling you, I have my ribbon wall. You guys know about the ribbon wall, right? And then I have a, um, what is it? Like one of those tiered stack drawers full of ribbon. I have a bucket full of ribbon. I have one of those five gallon totes. Is it five gallon? I don't know. But I got too much ribbon, y'all. I don't need to buy any more ribbon. Miss Brenda! Hi! I can't believe you caught me on live. How are you, Miss Brenda? Hello! I That's my... Uh, my aunt, if you will. She's like a sister to me. I grew up with her. Hi, Brenda. I'm so glad I got to see you. <laughs> I'm ribbon poor. <laughs> Girl, you can come get some of mine. I got more than plenty. I am busting out the seam with ribbon, let me tell you. All right, so pretty good. That's awesome. That is so, so awesome. Um, we need to pick another YouTube winner. Uh, uh, yeah. Another giveaway winner for YouTube, y'all. Yes. So this is, y'all, this giveaway was for Easter. Easter. I have a little goodie bag all together with some um, wooden pieces, flowers, stickers. I have a handmade journal that I did. Do we like it? And then I have a journal from Hobby Lobby. And then I got some cute Easter stickers and then a beautiful marigold from Crate Paper paper pad. And that was part of our giveaway. I still haven't gathered, gathered up other good. Hold on. Whew. I still have not gathered up other goodies from the craft room. Um, but I would love to give this away to one of my subscribers. I don't know if I should pick somebody from the live or if I should do a separate video. What do you guys think? YouTube, let me know. What do you think I should do? Should I pick somebody from going live or should I do a video separate? Would love to know. TikTok, how you doing? <laughs> Anybody want to let me know, Yvette? You've been a long, long time watcher of mine. Do you think I should just pick somebody that's in a live one day or should I just do a video? Very nice gift. Oh, thank you. <laughs> live. I think you might be right. You know what? I think you might be right. The only thing is, is I don't know when I can go live. I never know when I'm going to be on here. And I think if I had a set schedule, I'd probably do a lot better. What does my heart feel? My heart feels... um that maybe in a live I announce it and then whoever comments on there to enter and then we can pick somebody that way. I think that might be the best way because um, I've noticed that my lives have gotten a lot more traffic than my original videos, which by the way, did anybody watch my uh, Easter vlog and get to see all the my friends and family? Well, mostly family. <laughs> I wondered. If anybody actually watched it. For some reason, the lives are doing so much better than the actual videos. On the replay, I should say. I can get all this stuff put away, you guys. And I think I'm feeling a little crafty tonight. So I want to make a cute little birdhouse project with the um, bee birdhouse. I thought it was so cute. And maybe I should try the Dollar Tree chalk paint and film it. I don't know. It might be fun. Definitely might be fun. You did watch. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. I love that. Yeah, so it just seems like the, the live videos are doing so much better on the replay. And I don't have to edit it. And once it's done, it's done. And I can throw it up there and not worry about it. Hey, 
I like it too. It's fine with me. <laughs> Definitely fine with me for sure. It's less work for me, right? So yeah, that's what we'll do. I'm going to announce it in this video. So if they watch, if whoever you guys watching with me, I'm going to announce it um, here. We're going to do a giveaway. If you want to enter, let's do bees in the comment or in the comments. Put a B emoji or write the word B in parentheses and let me know if you are into ribbon as much as I am or not. And then that will enter you for the giveaway. And then the next time I go live, we will pick someone together, which hopefully will be Monday. I'm hoping because I'm supposed to be off work Monday. I think. Let me see. Oh, yeah. I don't know if y'all know this, but this I said this phone's awesome. But if you have a Samsung phone, you can turn it into a MagSafe and you just put a magnet on the back of it and it allows you to have a pop socket that's removable, which is super nice if you need to like lay it flat somewhere or, but if you, or if you just need to put it in your pocket and you don't want it in the way, these pop sockets are so awesome, especially with a bigger phone. It gives you so much more control over your phone. I love them. Love them. You love love ribbon. Good. So after this video is over, go back and put I love love ribbon with the B because the comments don't stay. And I'm going to pick it from the comments after the video is over. Okay. So let's see here. Let's pick a time for the next time I go live. Let me pull up um, the, hey, did you guys see my eclipse video? <gasps> It was, that eclipse was the most magical, most beautiful thing I've ever seen besides my son being born. Honestly, like that was just, oh, I'm telling you what, that eclipse, I'm in Ohio and I got to see this full eclipse. It was the total eclipse. It was absolutely stunning. Miss Brenda, if you're still in here, did you see it? B, yes. Make sure after this live is over that you go back and comment the exact same comment for me, please. Please, please, please. Okay, what's next week's uh, dates? Monday the 15th, I am off and I will be going live and we will be picking a winner. There we go. Yes, we will. We will pick a winner. And uh, you guys, that eclipse, I, what reminded me of it is I have videos and um, pictures of that flipping eclipse, you guys. Ah, she is gorgeous. Nobody's watching on TikTok. That's fine. She's gorgeous. Oh, so beautiful. You, okay, hold on. You seen the full one too? Wasn't it magical? It was absolutely magical, you guys. Oh my gosh. I feel so sad for the ones that didn't get to see it. It was just, and it was so eerie. There's, um, it was literally so eerie, the how dark it got. And I mean, it was just, un, I was in all. You can tell now I'm speechless. Half the time I'm speechless, but it was, this phone took such great photos, you guys. You can literally see the moon and the craters and just, oh, so good. So, so good. Most magical, magical experiences ever. I, I mean, if they compare Disneyland to that or Disney World to that, I'd be, oh, you couldn't keep me out of there. <laughs> Too bad we don't get to see it, but every 20 years, right? All right. So I'm going to call it quits. There's my haul, y'all. Um, head on over to Hobby Lobby and Joanne's if you love the ribbon as much as I do. Here in Arizona, it was just a bit overcast. No darkness. Aw. I thought Arizona was able to see it. Uh, my son got great pictures. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Yvette, Air wait, so you're saying you did get to see it? Arizona was just a bit overcast. No darkness. So it didn't go fully dark in Arizona? I got to hear the answer to this. Because I know down in um or New York... New York was supposed to see it, but they had overcast, so they didn't get to actually experience it, which is so sad to me. Can you imagine New York being the closest place to get to experience it, and you travel there, and then you didn't really get to see it? 
that would break my heart. And then like Texas, they were overcast too. So they didn't really get to see it like they were supposed to. No, not here. Oh, you know what? I'll tell you what. The videos that are out there on TikTok and everywhere else, they are, people captured it just as, as beautiful in the lens as it would be in person. But that experience, I'm telling you what, there was nothing like it. I It literally brought tears to my eyes, you guys. I'm an emotion girl, an emotional girl. But oh my goodness gracious, I was just like, ah. Oh. And I was stuck at work. I wish I was with the ones I loved. Now, I'm not going to lie. I did doom prep, doomsday prep just a tad bit before. Man, that Tickamer talks. I tell you what, they got into my head. I thought for sure it was going down after that eclipse. <laughs> I thought it was going to be the end of the world for sure. This Tickamer talks, mm -hmm. they, they played on my fears and they knew it. They, the biblical stuff are behind it, um, the, how everything was aligning and the X marks the spot and oh boy, we bought like, I think three or four more cases of water, uh, a couple of gallons of water. We made sure we had flashlights. We made sure we had, um, batteries. I mean, they scared us a little bit with telling us that they were going to deploy the national guards. I mean, I thought, oh, it's going down. It's going down. And then as it got the closer to that day, I was like, I don't feel like, I don't feel that way anymore. Like, I, I'm starting to think it might be okay. And then after it happened, I was like, okay, yeah, I, they got in my head. They definitely did. It was overcast, but it had a dimness as if it was, oh, okay. Okay. So you get to experience a little bit of it. But I'll tell you what, I thought for sure we were going down. I did. And then they told us, make sure you have a couple of weeks of um, water and non-perishable foods and all this stuff. And I thought it, they told us because it was going to be the traffic. And then, I, you know, or it could throw out the power or whatever. I don't know. I believed it. <laughs> I did. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I thought it was going down for sure. I was telling all my coworkers, I was like, y'all make sure you prepare. I'm telling you what, my computer's, uh, or my car's computerized. So me and Kevin had a plan to come get me because his car isn't. If my car wouldn't start, if all, you know, computers went down, I was like, oh boy, if it's going down, I was going to have him come get me. And we were prepared. Let me tell you what, it was insane. And looking back on it, I'm just laughing at myself now. And I knew I would be, but it was pretty funny. <laughs> All right. I've been on here long enough. I took most of your afternoon up with 45 minutes. So hopefully I didn't take up too much of your time. All right, you guys, that is it. And that's all I bought from, uh, what was it? Dollar Tree, Walmart, Hobby Lobby, and Joann's. That's a pretty good haul, right? Not too bad. And bomb, uh, Fizzy Bomb Pop rings or whatever they're called. So anyways, I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you have a phenomenal week. Remember to enter my giveaway at the um, end of this video in the comments of the replay. Make sure you put the B emoji or the B word in parentheses. And let me know if you love ribbon as much as I do, if you're a ribbon girl or not. And we're going to pick a winner on live again um, Monday. So good luck to each and every one of you. Who knows? I might come up with it a second prize so we can pick up, pick two. Um, yeah, I could probably do that. That's not a problem. I got more than plenty to pick from, y'all. <laughs> and if you watch the, did you guys see the rings that I showed? Did anybody um, see the rings? If you think they're pretty and you're a size 10 and you would want one, let me know. I'll ship it to you. Because I don't want... Um, them to just sit in my jewelry box because I won't wear them. Does anybody, you want me to show them to you guys again? And that goes for the replay too. Anybody in this uh, live or replay that watched this video, if you guys are interested in this ring, where'd it go? Oh, we dropped the ribbon, y'all. <laughs> this one's $1.99. Isn't she cute? She's so cute. Totally didn't haul that one. Um, if anybody's in this live or watching the replay and is interested in is a size 10 and is interested in this ring, I will ship it to you. Just let me know in the comments and we'll find a way to get together. Oh, there's nobody on TikTok. Um, and I will ship it to you. What do we think?
Anybody interested? If not, that's okay. Like I said, the replay, maybe somebody will be. All right. And for the 50th time now, I just don't want to let you guys go. I have too much fun. I have way too much fun. I'm excited to try those Dollar Tree uh, paints for sure. But I got two more rings coming too. So I don't know for sure which ones I'll keep. Um, but I just don't think that they're, they're for me for sure. So, all right, guys, I hope you guys have a wonderful afternoon for the millionth time. I just don't want to let my babies go. <laughs> we got to figure out how to end this. Good luck to everyone that enters the giveaway. And if you're interested in the rings or the ring, the other one, I think I might keep for now, but um, if you're interested in that ring, just let me know in the comments and we'll figure it out. Okay. Uh, have a great evening. You too, Yvette. Thanks for hanging out with me. Bye guys. Gotta figure out how to end this live. See ya.